everyone, Titi Mora here with The Why, bringing you tools to stay feeling well in your body, mind, and spirit. So today, we're going to be basically giving our spine a little massage, um, which is something that we probably all need right now. You don't need any props, and I will go ahead and join you down on the mat or a soft surface to lay down on. You're going to want to make sure that it's a little extra padded, so if you don't have a yoga mat, um, maybe find an especially plush carpet uh, to use just so it's a little bit extra soft and supportive, but you don't want it to be um, so soft that you don't have enough support. So while I wouldn't recommend you try this on a bed, um, a plush carpet or a yoga mat will be perfect. Okay, so I'll go ahead and meet you down on the mat. We're just gonna be lying on um, our backs to start. So, Taking a couple breaths here, finding yourself in your body. So just giving yourself a chance to arrive in your body if you've been kind of stuck up in your head all day. And I'll just shuffle down so you can see me here. And let's start with a pelvic curl. So if you haven't joined us before, you're gonna have your legs bent, feet flat on the mat in front of you about hip distance apart. And we're just gonna gently lengthen that tailbone and curl it up towards the back of the knees. So that pelvis is just going to tilt a little bit with that curl. So you're gonna bring in that little swoopy up and then take that back down to neutral. So having that pelvis equally weighted from the top to the bottom. And then we'll pass neutral and gently imprint that tailbone onto the mat as if you had like a snap on the bottom of your tailbone and the other half of the snap is on the mat and you're just bringing those two together to snap it closed. And then we're gonna again bring that back to neutral so equally weighted there from top to bottom and then we'll take that into a curl again. So lengthening that tailbone, curling it up towards the back of the knees, and then we'll bring that back down to neutral again, pass neutral into that pelvic extension where we're just going to gently imprint that tailbone onto the mat, and then back to neutral. So now you can do this as many times as you want. This is a wonderful little warm up or stretch for that lower lumbar spine. We'll take that one more time just because it feels nice. Lengthening that tailbone and curling it up towards the back of the knees, back to neutral, past neutral into your pelvic extension, and then back to neutral. So now we're gonna take that pelvic curl to the height of its curl here. So tailbone lengthening towards the back of the knees, and we're gonna continue to lift that. So as if your pubic bone is on a little elevator up towards the ceiling, we don't want to clench the butt or anything. And if you feel like, use this as an opportunity to listen to your body. So only take this as high as feels comfortable. And once you're at the top of your bridge here, you're going to lengthen those knees towards the wall in front of you. And it's almost going to feel as if your back pants pockets were going to move through your body to meet your front pants pockets. So just let that feeling sort of sink in a little bit. Your back pants pockets reaching for your front pants pockets. And then we're going to melt that spine back down on the mat. So starting with your sternum, letting that sternum and collarbone get really heavy and start to just cascade everything, melting it back down on the mat. And then we'll take that again. So letting this again be um, tailored to your body. So really listen to what feels good. Starting with that pelvic curl. And starting to lift that up into a bridge. Knees reaching for the wall in front of you. Back pants pockets moving up to join your front pants pockets. And then sinking that sternum ribcage melting everything back down on the mat. 
So really important to take that bridge, almost like we're creating this little wave motion for the spine, stretching it out, giving um, all those vertebrae a little space to have some articulation. So letting yourself, you know, just do what's best for your body today. So we'll take another little pelvic curl here just to check in and see the difference there, which feels a little bit more mobile. And then you're gonna come up to a sitting position. So feet are still going to be flat on the mat in front of you here, and you're gonna grab onto your thighs. So from here, you're gonna lift those feet and you're going to be balancing just on your sits bones. So you might take a little minute to find your balance, but use that breath to help you. So let's take a deep inhale, letting it come all the way down into the low belly. And exhale, just letting those abdominals help you find your balance here. And then we're going to start to roll backwards. So this is called rolling like a ball. Again, letting this be just a little massage for your spine. You're gonna start to roll back, and then we're gonna roll back up to a sitting position. Again, finding your balance. And we're gonna move back and forth. So try not to let momentum be what helps you. Try to make this a controlled movement. And then keeping that um, break here to stabilize. So, Let's roll back like a ball, and then roll up and pause. And really just, again, letting your body find what feels good for you today. And taking this as many times as feels good for you, so you can always pause this video. So let's take this three more times. Last time, and remember to breathe. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do, you're gonna come to all fours. Knees are going to be hip distance apart and your palms of your hands are gonna be flat on the mat and about shoulder width apart. So from here, spreading those fingers so you have a nice wide base for the palms of your hands, we're gonna do what's called a cat-cow stretch. So starting again with that pelvic curl, you're gonna to start to take your pelvic curl and let that move and travel up the spine into your cat stretch. Again, letting this be an opportunity for you to feel into what uh, feels good for your body. So what range of motion feels good for your body. So now again, starting with that pelvic curl, you're gonna let that flow into your cow pose and giving yourself a little back extension here, keeping those shoulders down and away from the ears. And then again, starting with that pelvic curl here to again take you into your cat pose. So let's take that a couple more times, moving at your own pace. And again, if you'd like to take this a little bit more slowly, feeling free to pause the video in order to take that time that you need. And again, starting with that pelvic curl to bring you into that cat. And again, starting with that pelvic curl, letting the pelvis lead the way each time. So now let's come back, again, starting with that pelvic curl into a neutral spine here, so flat back. We'll take a little pelvic curl and you're gonna let that lead you into a child's pose. So continuing that little curl to give your back a nice stretch. 
and letting that child's pose be exactly what your body needs. So you can lengthen your hands out in front of you. You can widen your knees in order to accommodate a greater stretch. Whatever feels good for you today. And then let's come back to all fours and we'll just do that one more time. So again, starting with a flat back here, let's start to take that little pelvic curl and let that lead you into your child's pose. Deepening that stretch however feels comfortable. And then returning all the way back up. So I hope your spine feels a little bit looser, you feel a little bit more limber and flexible. And I'll join you back here next time for some more tools to help you stay feeling well in your body, mind, and spirit. Take care.